This is chapter two of Animate Like Magnet Media. So in this chapter, I'm gonna show you how to build a scene like this. To build up a scene like this is very simple. What will determine the kind of images asset that you are gonna use or style will depend on what the narration is saying. For example, if you go to Magnets Media on that video, you will see that everything depends on what he is saying. They all are related. So because of copyright issues, I will not be using his audio or his type of images. So I'll just use the audio code from my last chapter one of this tutorial and then build a scene relative to what I am saying. So to follow up with this tutorial, you can check in the link in the description so that you can download the project files and all the assets and images I have using for this tutorial will be found in the folder. Of course, the first thing to do is to create a new composition. You're going to name this whatever you like. So I'm going to use HD for this resolution. And of course, the duration should be the length of your narration. In this case, it is 12 seconds. So we're going to hit OK to create this new composition. So the next thing I'm going to do is to right click on the timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. This solid layer is going to serve as the sky in this composition. If you have a sky image that you like, you can use it instead. So I will name this sky to keep everything organized. So I will make comp size and then hit OK. So I'm going to add a gradient ramp to add color to this sky. So I will change this to radial. Then I'll swap this. So I'm going to use this sky image to create color on this. Pick the white area to have this color right here. Then I'll pick the dark area to have this warm color. This warm color right here. So now let's continue to add other elements that will make up this scene. So if you have the project file navigate to where you have it, then we're going to import this PSD City New York. So we're going to import this as footage, then you hit OK. So drag and drop it into the project timeline. So this is far, far way wider. So we'll just leave it as it is at the moment. So because I don't like this uh, sky, so I'm going to select it and then switch this to effects and controls. I'm going to set this to linear instead. I think this works better for what I am going for. So the next thing I'm going to do is to import more assets. So this time around, I'm going to import the Magnet Media logo. I'm going to go into the timeline. You see right there, I'll pull this in between the city and the sky object. So import the window. Then drag and drop it onto your timeline to come after the city. And this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to go again and import the office supplies. I'll drag and drop it into the project manager window. Also, I'll set this to footage and hit OK. Then I'll drag and drop this one into the composition icon right here. So instead of using the other one, I will use the composition one and drop it into the project timeline. Then I will hit S to scale this down quite a bit. So the last thing I'm going to import for now is the man looking at the PC, import it, accept the default setting and then hit OK, drag and drop it on top right here. So the next thing we're going to do now is to arrange this thing properly in 3D space. So the first thing we need to do is to select all of these elements you see here, right here and then make them 3D by checking this box. So we're going to come to this place right here where it says one view, select it and make the viewport double. So you have to make sure 
one of these is the top. If your own is not the top, just come right here and choose the top views. So now we're going to go all the way in because while arranging these, the more space you give from one element to the other, the more dynamizing and parallax effect you can create while animating the camera. And that will be in the next chapter. So now we're going to select the BG. Once we select the BG, we're going to move it all the way back. You can hide everything right above now so that you can see your BG. That is your BG right there from this window. So select it, hit S on your keyboard and scale this down until you scale it up until it fits the preview window. So now we're going to go to the next one, which is the Magnet Media logo on hide it so that you can see it. We're going to also move it right backward, very close to the sky. So now we select the city on hide it and also move it all the way back. So we're going to hit S to scale this up very much beautiful. So it is now making sense. It is looking very flat right here, but on the 3D space, they are very, very far away apart from each other. So I'm going to repeat the same process to offset all of this and the timeline, then get back to you. So now we have all the elements arranged. So if you look at the original concept in the example video, you will see that this a wall right here should be transparent so that the city can be seen. That is why we pre-composed it earlier. So let's work on that. So we're going to double click on it. So now we're going to mask this window out. So pick the rectangle tool and mask the window out. So now we're going to control D on the keyboard to duplicate this layer. So in this one, we're going to hit MM to reveal the mask property and set this to subtract. So that way we have the windows and the wall in different layer. That way we can create the transparency so that the city can be visible. But there's one more thing we need to do. We're going to have to duplicate this top one again. Control D on the keyboard to duplicate that. So we can now go in and mask these squares out. So if we select this one, now hit T on the keyboard, you can now drop the opacity for the window to be transparent as much as possible, something like this. So if you go back to the main composition now, you will see that that window is transparent and you can see the city right from behind it. Feel free to drop the transparency as much as you want. So, so far, this is what the scene is like. We're going to change this to one view because you see so that you can see what we have made so far. And this is it. You see that that should be a video on that. So we're going to go into it to and double click it. This is it. So you can feel free to use any video of your choice. Hence, I'm talking about magnets media. I'm going to use one of the, the video in particular that we are referencing so that it will show on this screen. So I'm going to navigate to where I have the video now and bring it in. I'm not, I'm not going to include this in the project files because of copyright issues. You can feel free to go to his page and screen record the part you may want to use or you can just simply use your own business. This is the video right here. I'll drag and drop it into the timeline. What I'm just going to do is to scale this and that is it. So if you go back to the main composition now, you see there is a video that this person sitting right here is working on. So in the next chapter, I'm going to show you how to create that butterly smooth camera movement to give this some life and some movement. So this is how to build the same according to what your audio is narrating in Adobe After Effects. So in order not to mix the next chapter, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Then you will know anytime I drop a new video, the next chapter will be animating a camera across this 
show you how to animate a butterly smooth camera so if this interests you and you want to know more you can watch the next video on the card to show you more ways to animate like magnet media so until i see you on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios